I don't know how much of an underdog you can be with three games into it, but just from a respect factor, you know, we spoke about that in the locker room a little bit. You know, you see the 30 next to the name, it just doesn't really sit well. So to some degree, yeah, but I, as I said last night, I thought we've actually played fairly well out here, just haven't made shots. And uh, once we finally started making shots, you see what the team's capable of doing. Is there anything in particular you guys are working on today or maybe uh, you have specifically highlighted for tomorrow to maintain momentum? Uh, nothing specific. I mean, there's things you're always trying to tighten up. You, know, you only have so much time to get things in. So t trying to tighten up some underneath out-of-bounds plays, some side out-of-bounds plays. But really the focus with the group has been our aggressive nature defensively. Something we'll definitely really zone in on that more tomorrow, pregame film. I think that's that, and obviously making shots has been what's helped us. What can you say about the ways that you're kind of developed for us on the league? You know, he's, I mean, every game he shows signs of being able to do certain things. You know, hopefully, as we keep playing more and more games, he gets more and more comfortable. And instead of seeing, you know, one, to, one two, three, high, you know, highlights, so to speak, of him, it's, it's littered with him being aggressive. And even if he doesn't make shots or, you know, makes mistakes, turns it over, just the mentality hopefully is starting to change a little bit for him. What about Jonah Bolden? I know uh, after the game last night you specifically talked about his defense. Yeah. What has he been able to provide for you guys? Yeah, I mean, offensively he struggled. He's not in a great rhythm. I, you know, he kind of came in late. I think that probably – you know, hurt him a little bit in just terms of individual rhythm, but defensively he's been good. You know, he's a high energy guy. He can guard a lot of positions, which for him I think is something that's really valuable for his NBA life. Um, you know, he's versatile defensively in terms of being able to guard inside against big guys, guard smaller guys. So that's really where he's been at his best for us. And I guess that's kind of good for him because when he does come to the NBA, you're not looking for him to be a star. Yeah. I mean, he's going to have to be a role player. For sure. I mean, all I, you know, all these guys, are, they're trying to carve out a niche, you know. And his niche right now is being able to, like I said, guard multiple positions. And then if he can, you know, get into a rhythm from a shooting standpoint, you know, it's talking about something that every team would want, a guy who can guard multiple positions and make threes. So that's, that's really the goal for him.